Well, it's Friday. You might know what that means. Benny Johnson, host of the Benny Report, is here with us. Yeah, Benny, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on here. It's always good to see your face because I'm reminded it's Friday and I got a couple <laughs> days off coming at me. A lot of us do. Look, let's talk. It is the day after President Biden's first press conference. I'm sure you have a lot to say. Uh, let's break it down. I want to take a look at the moment that you feel Biden's team regretted having the press conference. Here's that. So the best way to get something done, if you if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway, I'm, we're going to get a lot done. And if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. Okay, um, hang on. Uh, Mm. Benny Johnson, your thoughts. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. It's so painful to watch. My question is this. My question is simple, all right? And I've, I have gone off on social media watching this. This was the most catastrophic, the biggest disaster, the largest embarrassment to the executive office, I think, it, perhaps in modern history, this first press conference. It's no wonder they kept this guy in a bunker. It's no wonder they kept him in a cotton candy cocoon for so long. And we have uh, reports from the White House that many White House staffers were just holding their heads on a desk, waiting for it to be over, humiliated. But I will ask you this, I will ask you this. Would you have me, not as your president, but back on this show, on Newsmax, as a guest, if during this segment I behaved like Joe Biden, the leader of the free world, if I had a note card that said, okay, let's see, this is Sean. All right, let's see, Sean, okay, he's number one. I'm gonna talk to him first. And then Emma, let's, it's Emma, all right, she's, I can see she has hair, okay. I'm gonna, Sean and Emma, all right. So thanks for your question, Sean. Uh, Emma, um, uh, Do I get to ask you a question? I guess I'm on the uh, list. <laughs> yeah, please do. Okay. Yeah. I, I Am scored... I going on too long here? No. Hold on. We'll, we'll, Emma. We'll, we'll move on. Because that's... Are you but, this one? No, but okay. Benny, it's yeah, true. Emma? I mean, okay. some of these reporters, they had questions that were very um, in need of a follow-up question, and they just either didn't ask it, they didn't have access to a mic, uh, that made me wonder, you know, what's going on here. I want to show you the one question that was asked. It kind of goes along with the theme here of uh, asking friendly reporters to ask these questions. Here's that moment with the PBS correspondent. You've said over and over again that immigrants shouldn't come to this country right now. This isn't the time to come. That message is not being received. Instead, the perception of you that got you elected as a moral, decent man is the reason why a lot of immigrants are coming to this country and entrusting you with unaccompanied minors. Well, look, I guess I should be flattered. People are coming because I'm the nice guy. That's the reason why it's happening, that I'm a decent man or however it's phrased. That, you know, that's why they're coming, because no, Biden's a good guy. Talk about the phrasing of the question here, because my question would have been to the president, you know, why did you promise undocumented immigrants free health care? Why did you give out $4 billion worth of stimulus checks to undocumented immigrants? Why did you say when you were campaigning there would be a surge at the border? And now what we're seeing take place, why aren't you owning up to those promises, the fact that we're seeing a record surge? Yeah, I have a six-month-old daughter, and she asks me harder questions than that, and uh, she can't speak yet. I hope that there is a drool cup at the bottom of the masks that they have people wear inside the White House, because the vast majority of questions asked of Joe Biden required a drool cup from the press, who seemed to be operating merely as a PR wing for the Democratic corporate establishment right now. That question is so embarrassing. It's such a clown world that we live in that someone like that PBS reporter would be allowed to ask a question that the subtext is as follows. Here is the actual structure of the question. You're amazing. Why are you so amazing? Come on, tell me. Everyone wants to be here because you're so awesome. 
C can we get snuggles? Like, th like this is this this was half the questions, and you saw the list again. This isn't a joke. You saw the list. Getty photographers photographed inside the White House. Joe Biden had a Facebook. If you ask Joe Biden what Facebook is, it would be the book of faces that he calls upon on the press list, and they're numbered. You can see it right there. It's the number. There's Zeke Miller's number right there. Number one. He was the first person called on. Then you can see that he had his answers for specific questions written down. Infrastructure. Clear as day. Right there. Yeah. So, again, mm. it's not a press conference. I'll finish by saying this. It's not a press conference. Yeah. This was just a practice rehearsal softball game between Joe Biden and his biggest supporters. I know. Mm. The question is, when are we going to see him again? We don't know. We'll wait and see. Benny Johnson, we will see you this weekend. <laughs> Saturday night, you can catch the Benny Report. It airs 9.30 p.m. and Sundays, 2.30 Eastern. Thank you, Benny. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.